So 26 years ago, I was at the Pentagon briefing Admiral Tom Wilson, who is the head of intelligence for the Joint Chiefs of Staff, meaning he was the main guy who provided the intelligence briefings for the Joint Chiefs of Staff for the whole Pentagon. And I had given him information documents, which had not been declassified that I possess, um, that enabled him to get in and discover one of these highly compartmented, illegally run operations. Although at the time, he didn't know it was illegally run. And he contacted him and said, hi, this is Admiral Wilson. I'm Bob J2, the term J2 is head of intelligence, Joint Chiefs of Staff. And they said, yes, sir, we know who you are. He said, well, I want to be read into or briefed on this program. And they said, sir, you don't have a need to know. We cannot discuss that with you. And he said, and I quote, God damn it. I'm the head of intelligence for the Joint Chiefs of Staff. How is it I don't have a need to know? And they said, sir, we cannot discuss this with you and blocked it. Blocking. He subsequently got threatened and was threatened with also being demoted, taking a star off his lapel, which was a big deal because in retirement, you lose a lot of your retirement income as an admiral or a general. So he, what he said at the end of the meeting, which was a two or three hour stand up briefing I did at the Pentagon in his office, and actually, astronaut Edgar Mitchell was there. Right? He came as a guest of mine. And, but what he said was, and I said, look, we really need your help to fix this problem. Now, this remember, this is 26 years ago in April of 97. And he said, well, I don't know what I can do because the best thing I have is a B-2 stealth. And this other organization, I now know, he says, I now know, have craft, aircraft and spacecraft that are man-made that can do circles around my B-2 stealth and I'm outgunned. And I said, well, no, there are other ways around that. He says, look, I, ha I have no authority to do anything. But now 26 years later, the Congress has given that authority. You see, the Congress, the, here was the problem for a long time. There weren't enough people in Congress who understood the problem. Mm -hmm. And the president is what we call the unitary, their chief executive. And it's very easy to intimidate or buy off or bribe or whatever one man, right? It's harder to do it with 535 people, right? So that's how this has been such a laborious project process for us over 30 years, because I first briefed the director of the CIA in 1993. So it is 30 years of toiling in this crazy vineyard. But now things are beginning to come to fruition, but there's still a lot of things that could go wrong, right?